And now back to the decision that shocked many in Bakersfield and those across the country. Former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy is leaving Congress at the end of the year. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein kicks off our team coverage tonight and has reaction to the surprising move. Will? Last week we heard rumblings with some behind the scenes staffing shakeups and now it's official. The longtime Bakersfield Congressman is hanging up his hat at the end of the month. I have reaction from his colleague and fellow Kern County Congressman David Valadeo. Take a look. It's a huge loss for all of us. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for his family. Um, but for us in Congress and for myself as his neighbor and friend, this is a huge loss for us. Kern County Congressman David Valadeo now takes the reins as the longest serving Central Valley GOP representative, but he would much rather have his colleague Kevin McCarthy with him in the House. Valadeo says there is much more to McCarthy's tenure in Congress and his speakership like his work on issues around Kern County. His role, especially on water, on energy, on other issues that we deal with, um, Kevin's been great and uh, uh, just sad to see him go. We're going to hear from Kevin for a very long time. Sean Steele, who was the RNC committee man from California, has another role that is husband to California Congresswoman Michelle Steele. Committeeman Steele says his wife owes a lot to McCarthy's ability to campaign and fundraise. He thinks McCarthy is staying in the public eye. This is not something that he's, uh, you know, retiring, uh, you know, to live on a farm in Vermont. Kevin doesn't walk away from a fight. He never walks away from a fight. He does what's right. This certainly is, you know, a, a hit for the Central Valley. Political strategist Tim Rosales says California is being hit particularly hard this year. The state has already seen longtime Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi leave leadership and trailblazing Senator Dianne Feinstein pass away. Now California's leading Republican Kevin McCarthy leaves, which will leave the state and Central Valley without leadership positions in the House and Senate. Congress is all about seniority. It matters in terms of chairmanships. It matters in terms of seniority on certain committees. It matters in terms of the, the, the money and the funds and all of those things that you can bring back to your district or to your home state. Um, having you know someone in the speakership like Kevin McCarthy, like Nancy Pelosi, has been good for California, whether you're a Democrat or whether you're Republican. While McCarthy may not have a future in Congress, it does not mean he will not affect the body. He can definitely have a major significant uh, role nationally uh, for Republicans. But Steele thinks it may not all be fundraising for the former speaker. He gets along with all presidential candidates, including Trump. There may be a role for him there in some fashion. Uh, but I think he's more interested in helping uh, colleagues in the House, at least in the short term. And thanks for that, Will. But a couple of other things. We heard Steele talk about possibly a presidential administration. What do you think about this debate it has on McCarthy's future? I think it's going to be interesting to see what the debate has on his future because while DeSantis and Haley may be a couple of candidates who maybe play nice with McCarthy a bit, I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens from Chris Christie's perspective, someone who likes to take shots at Trump or anyone close mm -hmm. to Trump, and then Vivek Ramaswamy's uh, decision to you know not embrace anyone who's part of the so-called establishment. So it could be an interesting debate tonight that maybe sets the tone for the country for the next several months. Well, and Will, obviously this absence has an impact both here locally and in the GOP's majority in Congress. I mean, what does this mean for us here? What are we losing? And what about that majority in Congress? So we lose a congressman for the next few months. We can only assume that a special election would be had in March by that time next year at the time where, you know, we would be seeing maybe a primary election, which would be March 5th. So for three months, there's nobody in the House uh, from Bakersfield. And then also it's a slimmer majority for Republicans in the House as well. All right. Well, Silverstein, thank you so much for that. Thank you.